Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, definitely make sure to subscribe. So today we're gonna be reacting to Girlfriend Dump Me for a Fat Guy by the Hodge Twins. Now that's tough. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Hey, but anyway, hey, we're gonna be in Atlanta, Georgia, January 14th, and then February 8th and 9th, we're gonna be in New York. All right, let me do some talking. We're gonna be in New Orleans, Louisiana, March 4th. And then Virginia Beach on March 9th. Yeah. <clears throat> what that intro music. Crazy. Tired of this email. Girl left me for a fat man. Sound like me, you left. You did. You spent too much time in that damn weight room making all them games. Some dude came in with a bib belly and laid that damn belly on her damn back. <laughs> That's not They're funny. harsh twins on my All you can see was the nuts hanging out and the belly sitting on top of her back. Ew. Mm -hmm. Put that belly on her back. You know, you got a big belly and you hit that dog stuff. You got to pick your belly up and sit on her damn back. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Do you? What's crazy is I never thought of that. That's low key kind of smart. That's like a cheat code. You smart for that. Ram the mushroom tip in, right? Just leave, first you pick your stomach up, ram your fucking mushroom tip in, just leave the nuts hanging out, then drop your stomach on the back. Y'all crazy. <laughs> oh, man. man. That's terrible, man. You got abs and shit, and. Right, let, let that has to feel fight. terrible on your ego. <laughs> but you know what, man? Women ain't in all that goddamn ripped ass and shit. The shit don't even feel right in bed. Well, they they want somebody to spend time with them. Right? Yeah, they want to. You know what women really like? A guy with a nice body. You don't have to be all ripped up and chiseled and shit. They just want you to feel like a fucking pillow. And they want a big hard dick in the bed. If you feel like a damn pin cushion, you got some hard dick action going with some big hairy balls. That's what you want. Look, like, yeah. I'm, I'm an eighteen year high school senior. They want a big. They want a nice soft pin cushion body. Nice and you know, nice athletic build. That's all they want, right? You can go ahead and have a, good, a nice, good round pot belly going. If you got a big hard dick and some nice set of uh, big hairy balls, that's a woman's dream right there. And spe and especially if you sit there and listen to her shit all day and talk to her. Man, women eat that shit up. Look, I'm an 18 year old high school senior in California. I've been dating this girl for four years. We're having many this problems. This fucking high school boy? He's 18, man. He's a dope. This boy in high school? We were having many problems, but I read her messages talking to some fat motherfucker about our problems, <laughs> and he seemed really supportive and nice to her. I didn't really care about it because he's fat and ugly, <laughs> so I didn't think he... See, that's where you fucked up. This is what I have also noticed about um, men as well. As long as a girl has a big ass... They'll still fuck, which is true, um, you know, and just like women, whether we admit to it or not, as long as you have a big slanger, they'll still smash. So my point is, what the fuck is my point again? My point is like, what the fuck was my point? I was making a fucking point. I can't fucking remember. Um, fuck. What was my point? Oh yeah, basically, y'all. I'm not saying that you, that people just sleep with someone because they have the big slinger or a big ass. What I'm saying is, people just want someone that treats them nice. Like you could be with somebody that got a six pack, long slinger, beautiful as hell, and they could still leave and cheat on your ass because you're not filling their emotional needs. You get me? Um, and that can also be for, for men. I feel like, you know, eh, men are just hoes. Like, they'll just smash anything. <laughs> I feel like if a man cheats, I feel like it is more of a, a sex thing. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. He hey, man. nuts inside of her. Hey, man. Hey, man. <clears throat> He was at shoulder to crown, man. Women love that shit, man. Sympathy. Someone to talk to? 
They asleep with that motherfucker quick as shit. He could yep. be fucking. He could be fucking hideous to you. <laughs> but what women find attractive is different. However, she started that's being facts. cold and distant with me. See, that's facts though, because I feel like this is why. I don't fuck with that female friendship or that male friendship because I feel like, like, how do I say it? I feel like those people that just want to help so much and care so much about your guys' relationship are the same ones nine times out of ten that want to F your partner. Point proven. This email proves my damn point. I do not fuck with that shit. I do not allow it. Call me toxic. I don't care. Mark my words. If you allow that shit, mark my words. When y'all are going through some shit, she gonna be the first person she runs to to suck some cat. Okay? Mark my words. Mark my words. And she said, yeah, you know why? <clears throat> She's sucking that dude off, man. However, she started being cold and distant See? with me, and she said I didn't make her happy anymore, so I broke up with her. Then he busted the damn chicken and biscuits in her mouth. The next day after that motherfucker went out and got him some chicken and biscuits, busted that in her mouth. Mmm, it tastes like chicken and biscuits. The next day after our breakup, I saw her hugging that fat guy, and a week later they were dating. I feel like this fat motherfucker disrespected my ass by, by taking my girl like that, and I want to whoop his ass or at least confront him. <laughs> yeah, but, you can, man. Just make sure there ain't no witnesses. But everyone thinks <laughs> I should move on. Don't, and wear gloves, man. When you beat his ass, don't leave no scars on your shit. Cause when he, fucking he, when, yeah, when he call the cops, you can deny it. It's your word against his. That shit ain't going to stand up in a court of law. But everyone, that shit is not, that, that motherfucker is not going to find you beyond a reasonable doubt because there's too much doubt involved, man. It's your word against his. And it's even more doubt if you wear a fucking mask. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. No Don't do that. Distinguishing marks. <laughs> They're like fucking big ass fucking skull, you know. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. But everyone thinks I should <laughs> move that on. Whoop that fat motherfucker's ass, man. But, Fuck him. But everyone thinks I should move on and just let things be. What should I do? If I was you, I'd move on, man. You know what, Keith? I, I got a cousin, right? First cousin, his name's Keith too, right? He made this post on uh, Facebook. This is what his post was, man. It was, it was some wise shit. Yeah. It was wise? It was wise. And it, it, well, what you expect, man? That's our family, man. Right. So look here. <laughs> this this, this, uh, this uh, statement he made on his Facebook, it applies to your dumb, your damn uh, ass. You just called that dude stupid. No, I didn't. I he said called that. him dumb, man. No, I didn't. That's I, what you did, man. You just called him. It's right there on camera. I took it back. It, I, and not, I was saying dumb, it just my... <laughs> You meant to say ignorant or something. My big ass lips got no ass. Look here. Well informed. Look here. This what? Look here. Hey, man. What the fuck did he say? I'm gonna say it if you shut the <laughs> bitch tell him. This is what he said. He said, uh, hey, man. You caught the fish, right? But you threw the fish back in the water. You shouldn't care where that fish is swimming to. Mm. You get it? Mm. That's beautiful, right? That's beautiful. You caught the fish. That's you beautiful. You saw the fish. You didn't like it. Yeah. You threw the fish back in the water. Mm. Right? Yeah, you don't so care. why don't the care fuck about that fish? Yeah, why the fuck you care where that fish swim to? Yeah, she gone, man. See, your girl's the fish. Yeah. Let me break it down for you. Your girl's the fish. You caught her. Put the water, your hook in the water. You snap the ass up. You saw her. You held on to her for a while, but you said, I don't like this fish. Do that. Do that fish back up. You know what you could do, man? Why a minute? <laughs> you threw it back. Then she went swimming around. I think they got the picture. Well, why did my dumb ass Loki get scared like he was screaming at me? Because I was about to say something to him. <laughs> Bro. Bitch, she went swimming around. They got swallowed by a goddamn alligator. And then this big fat motherfucker ejected her ass up. He kept her. And now he fucking her real good. All right. Better than you ever did. Hey, man, that's I know what up. I know what he's trying to ask. You don't say stuff he's, like he, that. He, he you don't say stuff like that because this dude really might be going through it. Oh my god, what is? I know he was a hurting when he saw this video. He wants to feel. Can you back the fuck up? The fuck you give him all that face action for? I'm not giving him that face action. Man, back up, man. <laughs> he look like a fish. You kind of feel empty inside, like it's uh, like somebody ripped your balls off. Okay. This is what you do, man. Don't fight that dude. 
Yeah, you was just playing, right? I mean, you can. I already gave you the fucking way <laughs> to get light. away with that shit, right? <laughs> you was joking, though, right? But, you know, she could go you wrong. You joking, Wait right? Wait a minute. She could go wrong. You end up killing that motherfucker. Because when you're in a rage, man, you forget shit. You, wait, you come back and you find that fat motherfucker dead on it at your feet, bleeding all over your ass. Yeah. All kinds of forensics all so, over your ass. Because <laughs> when you hit the mall, you can think about it. It's this damn dick deep inside of her, and she's screaming, and she's like it. Look, this is what's going to make you feel better, man. And this is real yeah, fucked up. Yeah, don't do it. What she did to you was fucked up, too. No, he, th- he broke up with her. He broke up with her. I thought she oh. left his ass for that fat fuck. Well, he broke up with her. She's okay, cool, motherfucker. She broke. She went her separate way. Oh, because then, oh, okay, okay. He broke up with her. Look, man, pull the goddamn email back up. I thought she left his ass. Okay. However, she started being cold and distant with me. And she uh-huh. said I didn't make her happy anymore, so I broke up with her. So she basically tells she basically you don't make yeah. Sense. She basically broke up with him. But I feel like she was low key starting to do shit with the other dude. Maybe not cheating like all the way. But it was getting there, so she had to let it be clear, you know. Hey, you know, I'm starting to think about somebody else's cock. It's time to go. Like, move. You know? That's basically what it was. I would have... In GTA. <laughs> so, th- he got pissed? Fuck you, then. She already went to break up with him. Because <laughs> she went that fat fuck. Yeah. The dude with the fucking belt on his yeah. back. Who knows? Motherfucker think, bitch. She said... <laughs> You don't make me happy no more. So she knows that he's going to say, you know what? Fuck you, bitch. I'm going to break up with your ass. That's why she said that. Look, women stinky like that, man. Look, she don't make me happy no more. Look, however, she started being cold and distant. See? Cold and distant. And she said I didn't make her happy anymore, so I broke up with her. The see? next day. See? Oh, she no. was. The next day after I break up, I saw her hugging that fat guy. Oh, you got to see? 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 She yeah. was just giving him the rope. Yeah. She gave him the rope. She gave him the scissors right? Right. She just gave to him the rope. She gave him the rope at a time, and eventually he's going to take that rope and fucking hang himself with it. <laughs> and that's what he did, man. He fucking ended the relationship. She just gave him the rope. Hey, Look, man. man, she playing this shit, man. That dude was fucking deep inside of the sweet walls. That dude was going in convulsions where he was shooting Ew. all that damn dick, dick butt inside of her. Look, man, I know what you're feeling. You feeling like you're not, you don't feel like a man right now. It happens to everybody though. But look, you got two options. You can go fuck this dude up, put on a mask, and don't leave no fucking evidence. <laughs> or two, don't do that. You can start talking to this girl. Hey, just just want to know how how everything's going. You know, uh, miss talk to you and do her little sweet things, right? And then fuck her, and then leave her. Because <laughs> that's what he did to you. You one vindictive bitch. Hey, hey, look, that dude. Me tell that girl was faithful to him? No, man. Just she wasn't faithful to him, right? But he's missing something, man. She ripped his fucking heart out of him. Look he here, needs man. to get his heart back, man. That's what you do. Go back, man. Look, go back, man. Go back. Start talking to the girl. Get real good and friendly with her. And then cream pie. Hey, if he's taking good care of her, she ain't, she ain't gonna hear none of that. Because he's, he's fucking up real good. Hey, she's sucking him off. Doing all that shit, he's taking real good care of. He didn't do that good of a job with him. Well, what you want him to do? Go kill the motherfucker? No, this is what you well, do. Well, after you go kill that fat son of a bitch. No, this is what you do, man. This is what you do. Be the bigger man and move on with your life. And if that don't fucking work, just fucking do what I tell you to do. <laughs> no, it's gonna work. Eventually, you're gonna no, find somebody else, and then you're gonna forget all about it. Yeah, try to be the bigger man. Try to move on with your life. Take that quote my brother just gave you about that fucking fish. He threw that fucking fish back. <laughs> and that fish and found another fucking uh, piece of dick and that fish is real happy right now. If you can't do that, then go back, either beat this motherfucker's ass or try to get back with this girl and just cream pie once and then move on. No! <laughs> Demon guy. Bro, oh, that was the craziest fucking advice that I have ever heard. No, but that is true. Like, honestly, I feel like she was, like, low-key, like, during the relationship, like, leaving mentally, and then she got with this dude, and, you know, she already had another plan, so she was like, fuck you. You're not doing the things that I want, so, bye. Bye. That's basically what it was. I would personally say, in my opinion, I would personally say, just move on. Plenty of other fishies in the sea, even though you wanted that one, that one already got away, so... Now you gotta find somebody else. Oh fucking well. She'll try it harder, my guy. But also, too, she wasn't really the one, so. 
Yeah. But anyways, y'all, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.